Alright guys, Sim here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you my full day of eating, but first let me show you how I look right now. So this is how I look right now. What I will do is every morning, I will go and use the toilet and then weigh myself before I eat and drink anything. This is to keep the measurements consistent. And my weight today is a bit high. It's at 74.5 kilograms. My weight yesterday was 73.5 kilograms, but the thing is weight will fluctuate from day to day, usually. So as long as I still make progress, it should be fine. All right guys, I actually deleted one of my clips by accident. So here I just wanna add on that my daily macros intake is 210 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of fat and they will all add up to a daily caloric intake of 1,510 kilocalories. Well, in order to lose fat, it is really important to know what you are eating and how much you're eating. So I do recommend everyone who is trying to lose weight to at least try to track their macros for at least two weeks. And I also wanna clarify that the numbers that I put up earlier are for myself only. And also I'm contest prepping. So if you just casually want to lose weight, you should work out your own numbers, your own protein, carbs, and fats intake, as well as your calories intake. And it probably won't be as low as mine, depending on various factors. So before we get to the first meal, I do want to say that I practice some sort of intermittent fasting, but I did not necessarily have an eight hour or six hour window or anything like that. So what I will do is simply push my meals to the later of the day. For example, I woke up around 9.30 a.m. this morning and all I had was water. I had around 500 milliliters of water and it is about, it is around 12 p.m. right now. So let's get to the first meal. All right, first meal. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal as well as I'm going to the gym right after this meal. Here we have 150 grams of tuna and 20 grams of really, really low fat mayonnaise and 20 grams of reduced sugar tomato ketchup and three slices of half wheat half white bread and a slice of low fat cheese the macro for this meal is going to be 50 grams of protein 41 grams of carbs and six grams of fat and they will all add up to 430 kilocalories i'm going to enjoy this meal and i'll see you in the gym peace I just came back from the gym and along the way I picked up Subway salad with chicken and steak 141 grams of steak and 136 grams of chicken. There you have it for meal number two. And this is supposed to be my third meal, but it is now my second meal because I forgot to defrost my chicken earlier. So my chicken is still defrosting and that chicken meal has to be swapped with this meal. So I will show you the meal later and I will put the macro sheet of this meal up on the screen. It's time for the third meal. Alright, it's 10.49 right now. <clears throat> I am about to have my very last meal, which I most look forward to. Here we have 100 grams of oven baked tuna. We have three slices of bread like we had in the first meal and we're gonna have 15 grams of crunchy peanut butter and 15 grams of 100% almond butter these two are the most macro friendly butter that I can find here they have the lowest fat and highest protein and lowest calories as well so I'm going with them I will talk to you after this meal Oh. Alright guys, so after having that very last meal, my total macros intake is 203 grams of protein, 101 grams of carbs, 
and 32 grams of fat. So we have completed the full day of eating, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about losing fat and tracking macros, sort of like how to do it. Because I know a lot of people, you have been trying to lose weight, but you just can't. Let's talk a little bit about tracking macros. I did mention that tracking macros is a very good way to know what you're eating and how much you're eating. But if you are completely new to tracking stuff, or you haven't been tracking stuff at all, tracking macros can be really taxing. It might get a little bit annoying that it bothers your life. If you find tracking macros is so difficult, you don't just give it away because it works. A very good place to start with is to write something down at least. You write down what you eat and the amount of food you eat. So let's take my first meal as an example. My first meal, I took three slices of bread, a can of tuna, write it down, a can of tuna. But if you look at the labels, you can actually find it. How many grams of tuna is on, it's written on the can itself. A slice of cheese, a good amount of mayonnaise, and a good amount of tomato ketchup. That's it. It's that easy. Try to keep the food you're eating consistent. What I would do is I would buy the same can of tuna from the same store, the same type of bread from the same store as well. When you track, you just have to tap the same thing. So it becomes easier. If you're recording on a notes app on your phone, it's even easier, just copy and paste. And I know a lot of you guys might ask me what app do you use to track all the macros and calories. So the app I use is called Fit Genie. I will put a link in the description box down below. So you can just click the link and it will bring you right into downloading the app. So check that out. You can also use the very popular MyFitnessPal app. All right, guys, I want to let you know that I'm also going to do a Q&A video next week. So please ask me anything you want by going to my latest post on Instagram or Facebook page with the hashtag AskSimSomething. Or you can simply leave a comment down below. So guys, ask away. So before you leave, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are finding me for the first time, please do subscribe and click the bell button so you won't miss out anything. I will see you in the next video.